What is up everybody? My name is DJ. If you're new to the channel, I make lifestyle and fashion related content. I'm gonna get in this video. If you guys like what you see, check out my other videos. I do videos on men's fashion, hair, and thrifting, and lookbooks. Everything in between I make here on this channel. And we're just getting started, so come along for the journey and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so that you can know when videos are coming out. Stay locked in with the channel, that is the phrase here. This video we're gonna be going over my shoe collection and it has changed dramatically from what it used to be. <laughs> in my high school days, I was a sneakerhead at its finest. I only spent my money on shoes. I didn't really care what I was wearing in regards to my outfit and I had some wild shoes. We've come a long way from there. I still do love my sneakers and I love looking at them. But uh, man, it's definitely a different time. I'm happy with the evolution. I still do have a handful of Jordans back in my house, but for now I only have one pair with me that I sometimes wear. But uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my white shoe obsession, then I'm just gonna move along from there and we'll get into all kinds of different shoes, low tops, high tops, boots, and more. So uh, stay tuned, let's do this thing. First up, a favorite on the channel, the classic Nike Cortez with the twist. These are the swooshless. Man, incredible detail. Look at that tumbled leather. That is just beautiful. The swoosh is on the inside, no swoosh on the outside. Simple blue and red detail. Love this shoe. Found it in a Nike outlet. Thought it was so unique that I had to get it. Basically just a clean white silhouette. Really love this sneaker and glad that I found this at an outlet. Keeping with the classics from Nike, of course we have the Air Force One. Can't get much better than this. I wear these all the time. You can wear this with just about anything, whether you're going for a more dressed up look and these are just a simple white sneaker or you're looking for more of a sporty vibe, you got it in the Air Force Ones. What an iconic shoe. Switching brands a bit, we have the Adidas, Stan Smiths, the classics from them. These are a little bit more of a low profile shoe compared to the Air Force One. Of course, not as chunky of a sole, a little bit lower of a cut, and I really do like that. I got it in the all white colorway. A lot of them have the navy or the green, but I really love the all white. I wore these and beat these. I hardly wear them anymore because now I have what I'm currently wearing on my feet, which is the sample Stan Smiths that I found here in Portland. You can see these in the thrift video, my favorites up here. Man, what a great shoe. I am so happy that I found these at the deal that I did because man, $16, you gotta be kidding me. It's a sample shoe you can see inside there. We are here in the land of Adidas and Nike here in Portland. So every now and then you come across gems like these in the thrift. This suede detail on the toe is incredible and on the heel, switching it up. These are not your normal Stan Smiths but great shoe and glad that I have these bad boys. Sticking with the Adidas wave, we have the iconic Adidas Ultra Boost. These are the 1.0s, they are beat, the boost is yellow, but man, what a great shoe. For the first two or three years, I wore these with my fashion outfits. Uh, where I would wear them with jeans, the zipper pants. You guys remember the zipper pants wave? I remember people were like, how did you get those? And I randomly was in the mall one day looking around by myself and found them at a Champs. I scooped them up right away. I remember this vividly. The employee was telling me like, yeah, we just got this random restock, dude. You really picked a good day to come in. I was like, whoa, I really did. So I'm glad that I found these when I did. I wore them all around the world. When my family and I went to France, I wore these there. I can pop up this iconic photo uh, with, with the Kobe, the I feel like Kobe shirt. It's one of my shining moments of my career. Uh, yeah, no, these are a great shoe. Now I've transitioned, the why they're so beat is because I wear them to work out in. You can see that the tread is basically all gone on the bottom, but man, what a phenomenal workout shoe. I run in these. I do just about anything in terms of working out in these shoes. I pretty much wear these every day. That's why you can see I got the uh, wooden shoe tree in here because that helps them not be so damn stinky. Slip back in here after I've done my morning workout and we're good to go. 
Next white shoe we have is the Common Projects. I'm just kidding. The poor man's Common Projects right here. These are from New Republic. This is their Kurt leather sneaker. Pretty good dupe for the Common Projects. They're very simple silhouette. I've worn these a lot. I got them in like a bundle deal from some holiday deal last year. I've worn them a ton since, so great shoe. It took me a little bit to break them in, but when I did, um, they're comfy. They get pretty scuffed up, but that's no problem. You can wear them all the time. Very simple silhouette. So yeah, if you're looking for an affordable Common Projects alternative, I recommend these from New Republic. They go on sale all the time. They're probably on sale right now. Go check them out. Good silhouette overall, can't complain. To finish off the white sneakers, we have the Chuck Taylor high top white converse. I don't need to say much about these. These are classic. I told myself in high school, I'm never gonna be basic and simple and only wear a pair of white converse high top bleh bleh bleh. Are classic. The way that my style is now calls for classics, and so I need a classic like this. This is a great shoe, can't go wrong, and I love my Converse. And of course, sticking with the Converse, it wouldn't be a shoe collection if I didn't bring up my Comme des Garçons high tops. Man, I'll show you the comparison here. Cream color, obviously different than the white. The red brings out so much of the detail. There's no color on the midsole, which I think makes it so simple and sleek of a silhouette and you have just some amazing details in this shoe. Overall, cannot go wrong with this shoe. I don't care if it's out of trend or out of style. I'm gonna keep wearing it because I love them and I think it's a great shoe. I'm gonna go back to Nike real quick and we have two nice workout or cozy options. We have the gray sock darts here. Really cool sneaker, fun silhouette. I found these for 30 something dollars at a Nike outlet and found these. The Nike Lunar Epic that same Nike outlet as the Lunar Lawn midsole, which is super comfy, and that outsole is awesome. Really morphs to your foot. I don't know if it actually does, but that's probably what Nike says. And uh, yeah, green is a switch up. I don't really own a lot of colored shoes, as you can see from all my white shoes, but this is a nice workout shoe or something to be cozy and go for a run in. Yeah, great Nike outlet find. One more iconic brand we have. The Vans. Two pairs of Vans old school, the checkered and the black leather. These are beautiful. They have the zipper on them. You can see the detail in that leather. So nice with the white laces, really clean. You can wear this with just about anything. I like them more than the standard, but for the standard we have the checkered, which I think is just different enough. That really sets it off. You can see I wear these clearly and I've loved these since I got them in high school when the Vans wave started to come back. Not gonna lie, I rode the bandwagon. I was not wearing Vans. I refused to wear Vans for those first couple years when I was a diehard Jordan and Nike brand athlete, as I would like to say. Um, now I'm wearing Vans. I'm wearing Converse on a regular basis and your basic silhouettes. So that's the way that my style has shifted in terms of sneakers and I'll get into my boots later, but can't go wrong with a couple pairs of classic old school Vans. Gotta love them. Speaking of my sneakerheads, you guys know what this is. This box is iconic, and when I got these, I was so hyped. It was at the end of my Jordan phase, but I knew that I would keep these even if I sold all the rest of my Jordans. And they are, of course, the Jordan Royal Ones. I dreamed of having it for years since I was a little kid, and I understood what Jordans were, and then I got them my freshman year of college. Such a great shoe, and I really don't care what anybody says. I hardly wear them, but when I need to stunt a little bit for the sneakerhead community to let them know that I know, you know about the culture even though I might wear some plain white sneakers or Air Forces or boots every day um, when I need to let them know I let them know and I still got these even though I sold most of my Jordan collection which I probably had over 15 pairs of J's I'm always gonna have these these are great shoes. and now we'll get into the boots section of the video my favorite part I love to wear boots I think a lot of guys are afraid to wear boots so if there's anything that you gather from this video gentlemen wear boots the ladies are gonna love it your mom's gonna love it I don't know if your dad's gonna love it but your aunt your uncle I'm rambling and I'm already revealing we have a classic Chelsea boot and then a Jode for style boot these are both great cheap alternatives to a common project again and a Saint Laurent again I found these at a Nordstrom rack these are from public opinion I found these for $50 and overall great shoe nothing fancy See, it has the zipper detail, nice brown suede, really great, can't complain, especially on sale. And then these are from a brand called Mark Wen. They have the Crepsol and a really nice midsole design. The color is rich and these are super comfy. 
the shaft is real high, which is nice, and I love this in boots. It goes on with a pair of black jeans, an all black outfit, whatever the heck you're gonna wear with this, you can wear it and it's gonna look good. So, gentlemen, step out of your element, step out of your sneakers, try a pair of boots. When I started getting into boots, there started to emerge some other brands, but now you can get Chelsea boots anywhere. Be picky, don't just buy the first Chelsea boot that comes across. Find one that really fits your style and the type of jeans and jackets and stuff that you wear, something that goes with that. If you're looking for a starter, find a nice tan, find a nice dark gray, and of course, go with black. At the end of the day, if all else fails, go with black, black leather. It is a bit of a statement, but man, I will show you in a second, it is the best way to go, and I live and die by the black Chelsea boot. Before I get into those though, we do have the black combat boots, and these are from none other than one of my favorite YouTubers, Alex Costa, and his collaboration with Nordstrom BP. See, it came with our little Alex Costa card here. One of my favorite men's fashion YouTubers, a huge inspiration to me, is Forte Series Clay, which you can see in my video up here in the card, what holds my hair up every day. And man, that's an incredible product. I got that when it released, just like I got these boots when they released. These are phenomenal. The leather on them is amazing. Uh, they've broken in very nicely. Laces are a nice kind of wax type of lace, and then that zipper detail, incredible. These look really sleek. Throw on a black pair of jeans, a blue pair of jeans. I've worn them with light wash, dark wash, just about everything you can throw a black leather boot with. So gentlemen, if you're afraid of the Chelsea boot, get yourself a pair of boots, and it can be combat boots. These are a really great option. I think it's so great to have versatile styles, and so, Check out the combat boot because I would really recommend it. I think it gives you a nice rugged style, especially as you're transitioning from maybe Jordans into boots or whatever your transition from sneakers to boots might be. It doesn't need to be you sell your entire collection and now you only wear boots like I did. That's dramatic and I did that over a long period of time so I, that didn't happen overnight. Check out a pair of boots. You won't regret it. You're gonna feel uncomfortable, but when you wear it, trust me, people are gonna notice and they're gonna know that you're a little bit more put together than your average Joe because it takes a lot of thought to put together an outfit with boots. So give it a go, try boots. These boots are great. Now on to the Holy Grails. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We have in front of you, the iconic Saint Laurent Chelsea boots. My goodness, guys. These are by far one of my favorite shoes in my entire collection. That heel is definitely high and out of my comfort zone when I first got them. And this is a high boot, but they are incredible boots and I'm very happy to have them. I found them for steel. These go for almost $1,000. I believe that retail is 945, which is absurd. And I would never pay that for a boot, at least while I'm a broke college student. But I found these in the summer of my senior year on Grail for $300. And for the condition that I got these in, that's incredible. Dude already had the rubber outsoles on them anyway too. You can see that right there. These are gonna last forever. The leather on these is insane. Like, what? These are just perfect to wear with just about everything. I wear them with jeans. I don't wear them with shorts. You can wear these with anything. Such a great shoe. Man, I'm so happy to have them and I'm gonna continue to wear them. I'm gonna try and get another pair. Don't tell me that you can't find deals. Check on Grail, check on Poshmark, check on wherever else you find deals. Grail is where I found these. Guys, try a pair of boots. It's gonna change up your look. You don't have to wear them every day. Wear them on a special occasion, but it'll change up your look for the better and I can't recommend boots. All right, that wraps up my shoe collection video. It's definitely slimmed down from what it used to be when I had 15, 20 pairs of Jordans, a whole bunch of Nikes, a bunch of other sneakers, and no pairs of boots. But I still do love shoes, and I still do love wearing a variety of shoes. Even if the silhouettes and things that I wear are similar, I like to switch it up and have a variety. So from boots to low tops to high tops to white sneakers to colors, there's so much that you can do with your shoes, and don't get stuck in one box. Feel free to explore and do different kinds of things. Enjoy what you wear, wear what you like, and don't let anybody tell you what you can or can't wear. So that's it for me for this video. 
definitely subscribe below because that helps me out a lot. Like the video too if you liked it because it's gonna help me grow. I'm really excited to continue growing this channel throughout this year. While we're in quarantine, trying to make the most, making videos inside like we have here. Excited to bring content to you. I've wanted to make videos for so long and now is the perfect time. I mean, the universe is telling me, DJ, make videos because now I'm at home and I can. That's my plan and I'm really pumped to deliver these to you. Stay locked in, as I always say. I upload two times a week on Thursdays and Sundays and follow me on Instagram for a lot more content. I'm posting on my stories constantly and when I post photos on there, there's always gonna be some outfit inspiration or some other inspo for you there. So definitely check that in the link below and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. My name is DJ, I'll talk to you real soon. Peace. Jesus. It all just spilled out here. A lot of people have said, oh, nice cowboy boots, dude. Like the cowboy boots. These are not cowboy boots. I honestly don't even remember the name of these. I make a lot of videos about thrifting, uh, tips and tricks to, what, what, what do I do? What do I do? What videos do I make? Um, I make thrifting videos, and I make lookbooks, I make tutorials.